Let's talk about interfaces. In this video, I'll show you what an interface is, how to define and implement an interface, and how to use default interface methods. Let's get started. In the tutorial, you learned about inheritance and about the concept of an abstract method, which defines a name, parameters, and a return value. Collectively, we call this the method's contract. By now, you're familiar with java.util.list. Did you know that list is an interface? List has several implementations like ArrayList, which you'll use a lot, and others. But why use an interface at all? When behavior is well-defined, and there are numerous possible implementations. Now let's create an interface. Open the tutorial project in Eclipse. First, create a new interface called Stock Option Eligible. Right click on the intro package and choose New Interface. Give the interface a name, Stock Option Eligible, and click Finish. Create a new class called Manager, whose superclass is Employee. Next to Interfaces, click the Add button, type in Stock Option Eligible, select it, and click OK. Eclipse generates an empty method body for you so the code compiles right away. Now implement the interface. Now write a JUnit test to exercise the stock option eligible interface. Create another class called Executive, whose superclass is Manager.
Since Manager implements the stock option eligible interface, we're not required to implement it again, but let's do that to make it more realistic. Suppose you have an interface called Bonus Eligible that is just a marker interface and is implemented by the Manager class. The Manager class is extended by the Executive class. The bonus eligible interface is a marker interface, in this case meaning its only purpose is to mark implementations as eligible for bonuses. Now suppose you release your application. And then it happens. Requirements change and you're asked to add two new methods to the bonus eligible interface. Get salary to retrieve the annual salary of the implementing class. And calculate bonus to calculate the bonus based on the annual salary. If you add those methods to the interface, you have to make a change to every class that implements the interface. Is there a way to introduce an interface change in a backward compatible way? Yes, there is. Default interface methods, which were introduced in Java 8, serves just this purpose. Manager, as a subclass of employee, already implements the getSalary method. And with a default method implementation directly on the interface, managers get a 10% bonus, so no code has to change. but you're still free to override the implementation if you want. When you only have two classes like we do in this simple application, it's no big deal to add the methods to the interface and implement them. But in a large application, an interface can have dozens or even hundreds of implementations. Default interface methods allow you to introduce new methods onto an interface while maintaining backward compatibility. So now you have a better idea of what interfaces are and how to create and implement them.
Be sure to check out the video description for links to everything you saw in the video, including a link to the GitHub repo where you can find the completed code. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.